This is our fifth year of running the annual law firm survey here in Ireland. Uh, Smith & Williamson Group has been doing this for 22 years in the UK. We're running this, as you know, now for five years. It's great that we have the Taunishta who presents at this. She's the Minister for Justice and Equality as well. From our point of view, uh, she has played a, a vital role in terms of the uh, Legal Services Regulation Act now coming into force. Um, and we've seen the new Court of Appeal, so a very active Minister for Justice. Within a very short period, Brexit has given rise to a re-evaluation of how we manage our affairs at the international, national and sectoral levels, uh, and no more so than for yourselves. From this morning's survey, we can see that many of our legal firms expect Brexit to have a significant impact uh, on our legal professions and services. Somewhere there's opportunity, uh, but also challenges. The overall message of this year's uh, survey is that confidence has dipped um, and it's dipping because of this uncertainty uh, to do with the events of the last 12 months. The election of a minority type new style Irish government. Brexit. Well there's a formal declaration from the counting centre in uh, Manchester for you and uh, the reaction then uh, transmitting itself all the way down here to, to London and uh, you may see in the middle of that throng there he is in a smart blue suit the industrial unrest. The election of Donald Trump. So those four things have certainly played into a significant decline in confidence about an improved outlook and probably led to an increase in, st in stability is what I'd say, as in a, an expectation that we will be in a more stable environment from the point of view of growth as distinct from anything else. You are now an expensive country to come to. As I was standing in the departure lounge of Southampton Airport yesterday, I stared across to the uh, foreign exchange, the Bureau de Change there. I was going to be offered 93 cents for my English pound, which to me is a dramatic change from where we were. I think the obvious point for any UK firm is that they're looking at how they can carry on providing services to EU businesses post the UK's departure. Ireland is an obvious stopping off point for UK law firms. Uh, the common law approach to the legal system here and the language make it an obvious destination. The world has changed since we sat down here 12 months ago to look at the sector. As people don't know what's going to happen in the same way or the same certainty they would have had in the past. The work that you do and the judiciary do uh, means that we have a strong democracy.